feel like Mr. Rogers, like I'm taking off my, my jacket and my gloves. Do you have a cardigan to put on? I do not have a cardigan. Failure. No cardigan, no hello neighbor. Aww. Bobby's tips for artists because he loves you. Hola, you amazing artists. So today we're gonna answer a question from you. From me? Not from you, from, oh. from Bibette Robinson. Hi, Babette. Hi, Babette. Hi, Rafi. I absolutely love your videos. They've all been really helpful. I'm wondering if you might do one in the future for beginners about when it's time to start selling your art. I have people saying, you should sell these, and I feel like if I do, I'm selling them work that I'm going to look back at one day and cringe because it's so bad. Answer, if someone wants to buy it, then it's good enough to sell. That's right. I know when starting out there's a lot of insecurity based on your pieces because your pieces could always be better. But the fact of the matter is that no matter how long you've been doing this, you're going to think that your pieces could be better. Your pieces can always, always improve in some way, shape, or form. The more ambitious you're going to get and the more you're going to strive to get to a next level of perfection. So if you judge your pieces based on the idea that you're going to look back and say, well, those are crap, these are better now, well, then in the future of that time, you're going to look at both of those and be like, well, that was crap, that was even lesser crap, but it's still crap. My stuff is better now. If you have pieces to sell and people are interested in buying them, then you should definitely sell them. Don't worry yourself with the fact that, well, in 10 years, I'm going to look back and think that these are crap because in 10 years, you may not be around. That might be morbid to say, but it's true. I mean, and you would much rather have your stuff out there than have this planned at later on when things are perfect that you're going to make them available for people to buy. When you stop and think about it, you'll realize how ridiculous that is because perfection is an unattainable goal when it comes to art because everything can always be improved on. Even pieces that are considered near perfect by the art world, there are always improvements that somebody could do based on their own unique perspective as an artist. Yeah, and if your stuff is rad, then as time goes on and your stuff gets more rad, then people will just look at your early works and be like, whoa, the rad early works of so-and-so. Exactly. When I first started professionally, I was creating pieces and selling them. Um, right now, have I improved over a lot of techniques that I used to use back then? Yes. I mean, there are things that I create now that back then I could not create. But do I look back at those pieces and consider them crap? I don't. They are from a different point in time in my life, a different understanding of what I wanted to create in art. I just worked on what I knew and what I understood back then. So it's just a different form of art. I mean, you had stuff. You had that impractical bracelet that you created that I just was not a big fan of. That piece was a treasure and you know it. That's right, somebody bought it. Like yeah. the one and only impractical bracelet from early in your career, and somebody has that. And that thing right now is probably a gem because it is the only one of its kind. I look at a lot of my early work, and I look at my work now, and I think to myself, like, yeah, I've improved a lot in certain techniques and certain things, but I seriously admire the work that I created back then because it was so brave of me to take the steps that I took back then. It was way harder for me to do those things because I was feeling so insecure about my art. When I look at those pieces, I see the courage that it took to create those and put those out there despite my fears. To me, they're amazing pieces. I, I love every single work of art that I've created and put out there into the world. I love them too. In fact, one of my favorite paintings ever is one of your first paintings. All my collectors that collected my artwork seven years ago, eight years ago, still absolutely love their artwork, and I love those pieces. Bibette, I think really deep down what might be going on here is that you might be afraid to take that step to start selling your art. You know, I want to do this thing and everybody's asking me to, but I want it to be perfect, so I'm going to wait until it's perfect. What you'll find when you do that is that perfection never comes. If people are interested in buying your art, put it out there. I don't know if that's the best advice for everyone, um, I know that that would be the best advice for myself. If I'm interested in selling my art or showing my art, then I'm going to put my stuff out there. I'm not going to wait to have a certain amount of artwork. I'm not going to wait for a certain amount of perfection for my art. I'm going to create the best possible pieces that I can create right now in my time and put them out there. 
I don't know what kind of talent I'll have in the future, and I just, I don't feel like waiting until I achieve that talent in order to show my stuff. I'm going to show my stuff now, and I'll show my stuff then, when it happens. Yeah, and the fact of the matter is, people buy all kinds of things. Quick sketches, random pieces of fabric. Yeah, that's true. I mean, and that's the thing, like, you're judging your artwork based on a criteria that who knows where you got it from. People like all kinds of different work. I mean, and people dislike all kinds of different work. There are people out there that love my work. There are people out there that absolutely hate my work. So something that maybe you think has a little bit of a flaw in it, somebody else will think it's perfection. I mean, that's the thing. As the artist, you're looking at your piece through a different set of eyes. Every single one of my pieces, even though I absolutely love them and adore them, they all can be improved upon. That's called growth. It's going to happen every single piece. You're never going to create a piece and be like, there is nothing that I could improve upon this piece. It is perfection. People buy things because they connect with it personally, not because you think it's perfect. It is your responsibility to put your stuff out there if that's what you want to do. And don't wait for things to be perfect because things are perfect as they're going to be right now in this moment in time. So you might as well put your stuff out there. And that's it. Thank you. Hopefully this answered your question, Bibette. Um, uh, I know there was a lot of rambling in there, which there is in just about all my videos. So yeah, whatever. And if you guys have any questions for us, just leave them in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. I think you are absolutely amazing. I absolutely adore you. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Klee. Good day. Adios.